Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Two Can Plays. Today, we are going to do a beginner's guide to Steel Titans 2. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, but uh, one of my viewers, he commented, hey, how do I, can I, can I just play as El Toro Loco? Can I just play as, a, you know, a truck that I really like? And the answer to that is yes, yes, you can. And so I wanted to make a video that would uh, just, just, just kind of talk about all the different features of Steel Titans 2, kind of give you a beginner's guide if you're just starting out on the game. I also got a new desk and a new recording setup, and I wanted to give that a shot too. I wanted to get some practice in being on camera, and I'm not used to being on camera live, you know, with my, my face. I actually created a whole new account just so that I could start off in the beginning so you could see exactly what it looks like if you're just starting off at the game. With that, let's just get right on into it. So we'll see you in the game. Okay, so after you complete the initial tutorial, which is quite annoying, honestly, <laughs> you're treated to a little cutscene of Camp Crushmore. And then they just kind of dump you. And they leave you to it. And that's okay. So once you're here in Camp Crushmore, you you most likely will see this out in the, the, the lake over here, because that's the first thing. I mean, it's kind of glowing and twisting, and you're like, hey, what the heck is that? That is a world collectible. And see in the bottom corner where it says one out of five collectibles earned. What that means is that in this zone, there are five collectibles. And there's another one right up there. I have videos, ultimate guides for every zone. There are five zones total. And I have a, a video for every zone where all of the hidden world collectibles are. So I'm gonna link it up in the top right corner. Be sure to check out all of those uh, if you wanna find out where all of the collectibles are. The first two zones, Camp Crushmore and the Bark Park, have five Hidden World collectibles, and the other three zones have 10, so a total of 40 World collectibles. Now, when you finish collecting all of the collectibles in a zone, it will unlock a truck here in the garage. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So. In the garage, she kind of hints at it in the tutorial a little bit, but there are different categories. So you have the starters, there's only two trucks in the starters. Then you have the wild cards. And wild cards, it shows that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six cars, including these two up here. These two are the inverse. They're part of the DLC. In order to get these unlocked, you have to purchase the DLC pack. I think the DLC pack is only like $4. So it is definitely worth it because there's some cool trucks. So once you collect all of the world collectibles, you will unlock the truck in each zone. And for Camp Crushmore, the zone is the wild card zone. It only unlocks trucks for the wild card um, category. I'll go and I'll collect all of the collectibles and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we already have this one collectible here in the lake. The second collectible is right up here up this hill. Kind of crawl over. There it is, right there. The third collectible. You kind of have to get a bit of a boost. It's right here. You just hit this. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, got it. Fourth collectible is up this way. And at the end of the road here, there is this bridge. And underneath the bridge is collectible number four. Four out of five collectibles. And the fifth collectible is right over here. Now, as you're driving around, this is a good opportunity to show this. As you're driving around, these little question marks will show up. So right here, you notice this barn. The, the doors kind of open a little bit. And there's a little sound, the music stopped, and a little, a little bit of a music. So what this is telling you that this is a location where a hidden world collectible is for a specific truck. And I'll go over that in just a minute. So you'd kind of drive up here where these little cabins are. And you drive off this one here. Don't boost, just drive off. And there's all five hidden collectibles and that unlocks Northern Nightmare. Whoa. <laughs> now if we drive back 
to the garage, you'll see that we've unlocked Northern Nightmare by collecting all five of those world collectibles. And again, that is in the wild cards selection. Oh, okay, so it's not the vehicle with the crown, it's the vehicle with the star. So every zone has uh, a vehicle, every list, so Rough Crowd has a, a vehicle here with the star, and that one you can only unlock by collecting all of the world collectibles in that zone. Same with Defenders, there is a world collectible, or I'm sorry, there is a vehicle that only unlocks with the star that you get from the world collectibles. Every category has one of those, except I think maybe the Crazy Creatures. Yeah, Crazy Creatures does not have one because there are no collectibles for Crazy Creatures. Crazy Creatures are unique. I'll go over those in just a minute. But for now, let's switch over to Northern Nightmare. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when I say Hidden World Collectibles. So every truck in each zone has a special Hidden World Collectible. And like I said, I have videos. Oh, there was another, uh, you see that question mark that came up? This right here, enjoy more ice cream. This is telling us that there is a Hidden World Collectible here. And that's what that question mark means. So, as you progress through the World Career Mode, you go to single player, World Career Mode, as you play through the World Career Mode, you will also unlock trucks this way. And so as you unlock these trucks, then you'll have the ability to drive them. You can go into the garage and you can drive them. And then you can drive around through the world and collect their Hidden World collectible. So for Northern Nightmare, it's right up here. Here's this maple tree that's a little different. Maple Tree, of course, is the symbol of Canada, where Northern Nightmare hails from. You drive up here to the Maple Tree, and you can wait for the, tr the maple leaves to swirl around you for a little bit. And after a minute or two, then Northern Nightmare's World Collectible will appear down the ramp down there. And I'll go over the camera that I just changed there in a second here, but... Uh, for now, there is Northern Nightmare's Hidden World Collectible. So now, if we were to go back into the garage... Woohoo! <laughs> You'll see... If we change the vehicle... Wild cards... Northern Nightmare now has this triangle next to it. Where it says World Secret... That means that we have found Northern Nightmare's World Secret. If you have the DLC, see, I've got the inverse version because I bought the inverse version. Um, and so now I have the World Secret for both Northern Nightmare and Northern Nightmare inverse. And that's what that little triangle means. It doesn't really do anything for you other than gives you some credit and uh, maybe an achievement. But, you know, it's kind of fun to go hunt in the world and go finding them all. Now, you might be thinking, Toucan... I don't care about all that. I just want to drive my favorite truck. Is there a way that I can just unlock my favorite truck and play as my favorite truck? Yes, there is. So what you do, you go into settings, gameplay settings, and go down all the way to the bottom where it says playground mode. You switch that to on and it'll give you a warning. It says playground mode is a feature intended for young players, which temporarily unlocks all trucks, events, and locations. You will not be able to gain experience points, unlock achievements, or save your progress while in this mode. So, and you hit yes, it will unlock all of the trucks. Now, there are secret variants of all of the trucks. It does not unlock the secret variants. It only unlocks the base variants of the trucks. But if we were to change the vehicle and go into the wild cards, I can now play as any of the trucks in the wild cards. Or if I want to go all the way to undead and I want to play as Grave Digger, right? Here is Grave Digger. I can play as Grave Digger to my heart's content. I do not have to unlock Grave Digger. Grave Digger is one that unlocks way, way later in the game, but now I can play as Grave Digger. Here's the problem, though. Anything that I do as Grave Digger does not count, right? It warned you. It told you that it wasn't going to count. I, but I can play as Grave Digger. Grave Digger is my favorite, right? I can play as him. Let's change the vehicle one more time. We're going to go to Wild Cards. I'm going to show you another 
Hidden World Collectible, Ice Cream Man, all right? So we're gonna switch to Ice Cream Man. And I kind of already hinted at this one right over here. Here is Ice Cream Man's Secret World Collectible right here. You just kind of park between the signs. And all this ice cream starts falling from the sky. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. It's funny. But then after a few seconds, there is the Hidden World Collectible that shows up. You can go and collect it. And it shows that it's collected, but watch this. When I turn off, whoops, gameplay settings. When I turn off playground mode, watch what happens. When I turned off playground mode, I'm back to just being a question mark now. I did not unlock uh, Ice Cream Man's Hidden World collectible. It is still locked. So you have to actually play the game in order to unlock certain things unfortunately now as far as the worlds go so this is the first zone that's available to you this is camp crushmore you cannot progress to the next zone which is the bark park until you play through the world career mode you have to progress i think you have to do the first four chapters and get at least third place in order to move on to the next zone um so that's how that works Again, if you were to go into playground mode, you will be able to go to any zone that you want. You can drive over here to the bark park and you can drive all the way through the entire world, right? Whoa! <laughs> okay, just real quick. So getting back to the garage, if you go back to change vehicle, uh, let's go back to the wild card. Now, starters, you know, there's these two starter trucks, and they're there. You do get, you see where it says uh, Team XP 5,000? And uh, the, the triangle is there at 25,000, and there's a little crown underneath it, right? That means that if you get 25,000 Team XP, you'll unlock a vehicle with a crown. So let's go to the wild cards, and you can see here with the wild cards... If you collect five collectibles, you'll unlock the starred vehicle for wild cards, which happen to be Northern Nightmare. And then if you get 25,000 Team XP here, you'll unlock the crowned vehicle for the wild cards, which is this one. It, happened to be it happens to be Backwards Bob. So if you really want Backwards Bob, then you what you need to do is you need to get 25,000 Team XP. The way you get XP is just by playing the game. You can do world career mode, you can do quick play, you can do it however you want. Then right next to where it says collectibles, you see another triangle and it says there and back again, plus one boost and 50% boost meter. What that is referring to is here in the garage, there is a challenge event. It says there and back again and crush more, right? So there and back again, crush more is locked. There and back again is not. So these are challenge uh, races. They are challenging races. They are tough. But once you complete it, you will get the bonus that it's talking about. So you'll get an extra boost. So if you complete there and back again that first challenge race, you'll get an extra boost on these wild cards, plus a 50% extra boost meter. And then if you get uh, the second challenge race, the crush more, you'll get another boost, plus 50% more boost meter. So the wild cards actually specialize in boosting that is kind of their uh, specialty if you remember in the tutorial though they talked about how these special abilities are not active during arena events they're only active during outdoor events and outdoor races you can use it when you're doing free ride as well but uh, there's no competition and those don't count towards unlocking every category has their own special ability so for rough crowd, these are the monster mutts, right? All of the monster mutts have a special ability, which is overtake. It says right up at the top, get an extra speed boost by drafting close behind your opponent. That is their special ability. It helps them get a little bit of an extra boost when you're behind somebody so that you can then overtake them. Now, if you do the um, these challenge races in the bark park, you'll get an extra 10% overtake distance. And then uh, the second challenge race says plus 15% overtake power. So that will help you. Each 
category has their own special ability. Defenders has push your opponents to the side if they get too close. That's an overpowered ability. It's really a good one. Um, and then as you unlock those challenge races, it increases the distance and power that that shield ability does. Demolition Crew allows you to more easily blow through destructible objects. This is kind of a limited power. Um, it's really only useful in time destruction events, and that's about it. Um, some, some outdoor events, it's helpful, but mostly it's just for time destruction. And as you do uh, unlock the uh, challenge races, it um, increases the effectiveness of that de demolition ability. Undead also have an overpowered ability. It allows you to push back your opponents directly behind you. It stops you dead in your water. If you've ever driven behind a uh, grave digger or son of a digger, zombie, you know what this ability does. It just stops you dead. So uh, as you unlock the challenges, it increases the power and the range of that repulse ability. Crazy creatures, they get a small boost while you're airborne, and that's all they get, and there's no way to increase it. That there is one extra crazy creature. If you watch my crazy creature video, that is um, Sparkle Smash. The only way to unlock Sparkle Smash is to get 25,000 team XP. Um, and you can do that with any of the trucks. You just pick a truck and then basically max it out. Uh, just drive it in, in whatever event you want, and you'll eventually get enough XP to unlock Sparkle Smash. Okay, so that is kind of a, a lowdown on all of the different variety of trucks. Now, how do you unlock it? What you do, you can either drive over to the to the zone line over here, right? And you drive over this, oops, you drive over this zone line and it'll say world career mode, right? This is the only way to unlock the zone is to do these four career modes or four career mode races. Or you can just push start, go to single player and go to world career mode, right? And there it is. Now you can just do quick play. Quick play is fun. You can do whatever you want, or you can do uh, you can do any of the types of events that you normally would see in career mode, or you can just do free ride. Free ride is fun. You can just pick um, pick an arena, right? Um, these are the only three that are available to me right now because these are the three that are in the first um, the first little set of events. So let's go to Salt Lake City, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in Salt Lake City. And there's no competition here. There's no uh, no timer, no nothing. I can just drive however I want to drive. I can do whatever kind of tricks I want to do. And eventually, you know, my truck's gonna get destroyed. Ah, there we go. Oh, geez, I'm doing great backflips now. There we go. Okay, so I got the the hood taken off my car. And eventually, yeah, there we go. Smash it all up. Eventually, my truck is just going to be thrashed. And if I want to reset it, I just hit start, restart event, and my truck is back to normal. There we go. That's free ride. You can do that in any event that you've unlocked, right? This is a good way to practice your tricks, like stoppies and moonwalks and wheelies. And I don't know why it's not counting a moonwalk for me. Come on, that was definitely a moonwalk. Ah! <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about the camera real quick. Or just gameplay settings in general. So if you go into gameplay settings, um, you, you can change your unit of measurement to Imperial and metric. If you're in um, uh, anywhere but the US, basically you could do metric. Airborne throttle, I would keep that on. User input, I would keep that at user input. And I'll tell you what that does. I'll show you it right here. So as you're driving, you can Hold down the throttle and you'll rotate like that, right? If you don't have it set to auto rotate or uh, user input, you you won't be able to rotate like that. Whoa, there we go. That was nice. <laughs> um, you can go backwards too. So I'll just go like this and then I'll go forward, right? So instead of doing a backflip, I can do a front flip. I was, what I was doing there is I was holding on to the brake and I did a front flip instead of a back flip. So I definitely, there, that's how I got the moonwalk. 
Maybe that's why I wasn't getting it before, is because I, I didn't have that user input throttle setting set. Here's my stoppy. Look at that. <laughs> okay, enough. Let's go back into settings, gameplay settings. Okay, heads up display, you can you know show or hide it. That's basically just the, the mini map, the throttle, the speedometer and all that stuff, right? Settings, gameplay settings. I'm gonna show that again. Custom camera, um, so it'll show you the controls right here. You hold down LB plus the cross pad to control your camera, okay? Um, I have another video, I'm gonna link it here. This is a camera control guide. Um, but just kind of the quick and dirty of it, if I'm holding down the left uh, bumper button uh, and I push down on the cross pad, the camera rotates down, push up, it goes up, left and right, it goes left and right. If I hold down the right bumper button, I zoom out, zoom in, that's up and down on the cross pad, or I can go zoom in and zoom out. I can zoom way out. Kind of gives me a weird fisheye look when I do that. I don't really like it. <laughs> and then if you want to reset it back to normal, you push both the right bumper and the left bumper at the same time and push down on the cross pad and it resets it back to normal. Let's go back to gameplay settings. You can turn your vibration on or off. Steering sensitivity, I would not mess with. I just leave it at three. Playground mode, we've already gone over that. Control settings, you can, um, you can change this however you want. Personally, I prefer just the um, the standard setup that it's got. I haven't really messed with it a whole lot. So that is about it for a beginner's guide. Oh, I guess one more thing. I mean, the, the tutorial kind of hinted at it, but these are where the crazy creatures are. The X marks the spot. I have a whole video that shows all the crazy creatures. I'm gonna link it up in the top right. But this first crazy creature is right here in the lake. I took, whoa, far longer than I had intended to the first time. But here it is right here. It's right next to the uh, the Hidden World collectible. Right there. You just sit on it for a minute. Wait for the little sparkles. And there we go. There's Crustacean. <laughs> now, the... Uh, the crazy creatures do have their own Hidden World collectible. So after you unlock Crustacean, come here to the garage, change the vehicle. It is a wild card. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's a crazy creature. Crustacean. Drive it out. And then you come back over here to the map and the door will flip open. And you can see there is a clue to where Crustacean's Hidden World Collectible is. Again, I've got that video. Shows all the Hidden World Collectibles and all of the unlocks for all of the crazy creatures. Check it out. I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. Quick, down and dirty, like I said, I wanted to do it for my fans. Because I haven't had a few people asking about how to get started in uh, Steel Titans 2. I hope this helps. Be sure to leave a comment if it did. Make sure you give a thumbs up to help get this video out to more people. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now, and we will see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> Later.